6.30 in the morning. All right, so last video, I solid mounted the engine, got that issue fixed after my last race weekend. I've still got um, a couple of the little things to do here. My front tires are scrubbed on this because I had my toe inset wrong. So I've got new tires for the front. I'm going to, well, I've already adjusted the toe, but I'll double check it once I get these new tires mounted and balanced. Um, then all I've got left to do is I'll take the truck home. I'm going to pull that band-aided old reservoir out for my power steering. And I want to build an aluminum one. Remount it in a different location so it's a little bit, there's a little bit more clearance between it and the inner fender well. And... I should be ready to rock. The only other thing I really want to do before Miles of Mayhem is maybe build a bit of a tunnel cover. Uh, right now I use a toolbox that I can lock up, but it would be nice just to be able to lock the whole box, keep everything in there, clean out of, out of the rain, all that good stuff. So I might do that if I have time, um, but yeah, obviously priority number one, get the truck ready, fix all the issues, and uh, make sure I'm not going to have any breakdowns this year. That's the goal. <laughs> I don't have one single breakdown of Miles of Mayhem this year. Last year was not good. I mean, the first night we rolled into the hotel, I think around 4, 4.30 in the morning. I didn't get to bed till 5.30 because of editing footage and whatnot. So I got like 45 minutes of sleep back to the track. And it's just, it's a repeat of that every night. Not getting very much sleep. But hey, it wouldn't be half as much a story if it wasn't punishment. <laughs> And I would never trade it for anything in the world. I absolutely love this drag and drive stuff. So stick around. We'll get this thing ready to go. You know, I've never had any official training on these things. At first it was calling for half ounce on the inside and 1.75 ounces on the outside. So I do that and it wants half an ounce on either side completely opposite of where I put the first weight. So then you take the half ounce off of the inside and I put a one and a quarter on the outside and I get it perfectly balanced. I'd, maybe that's how it's supposed to work, but I don't know. Seems right. Well, that's got the uh, new tires mounted and balanced. Obviously got to put the hubcaps on yet, but looks good. Sure is handy having, <laughs> having access to a tire machine, I tell you what. So uh, yeah, I'll throw the hubcaps on it, take it for a test drive, make sure everything feels good. I'm sure it will. And then I can take this thing home. Just buttery smooth. Alright, well, I got the truck back at home here. And I'm just going to start working on my power steering reservoir. And I'll kind of show you what I'm thinking, how much room I've got, and yeah, where I'm going to go with it. So. so, obviously there's not much room in this engine bay, but uh, I've got a little bit, you know, right here. So, obviously, this one's going to go away. It's just too tight to the inner fender well there. I'm going to just put a cylindrical one here, I'm thinking. And uh, it's a remote anyway, so I'll just have to run the lines over to it. And I was thinking I'd mount it to my fan uh, bracket there and there. So it should work. should be cleaner, uh, a little tidier. Yeah, I don't know. Problem solved with the solid motor mounts, but I still want to uh, do this anyway because that uh, this reservoir is band-aided together to the, the track just to get it home, so best to replace it because it is broken. Well, I don't have any of the proper tools to bend this into a nice cylinder. I'm gonna get as close as I can, but it's not going to be great. So normally like if you had a three inch piece of pipe or whatever, you just clamp it down and kind of beat the metal around that piece of pipe or bend it around. Um, I'm not really strong enough to do that by hand. <laughs> Eighth inch aluminum is kind of hard to bend. Not as bad as steel, but still pretty tough. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit oval, but it'll be all right. Just using the vise, I'll kind of show you where I'm at and uh, where we're going. <laughs> So I had a two and a half inch piece of pipe, but kind of beat it around that. And I'm just gonna 
just trying to get the ends together here. That side's just about together, so I'm going to tack it, uh, take the pressure off, which will pull this apart, and I'll kind of try and use my body dollies and hammers to, to line it up all the way along, and then, yeah, I'll just kind of pinch it around in a circle in the vise until it looks roughly round, and we'll go from there. It should work anyway. progress so far. I think my welds are getting better finally. Holds water, doesn't leak. So weld my cap on now and then a uh, couple of bungs for the return and the pressure and feed side and uh, yeah the cap and obviously uh, a breather will be good to go. All right so it's a new day. I spent entirely too long finishing up the build on that uh, power steering tank and unfortunately I didn't film the rest of it it ended up getting late I spent like I said way too much time on it but I'll throw some pictures in uh, of the process right here and uh, now I'll show you the final product I think it looks pretty good, turned out, turned out pretty nice. I'm really happy with my welds. I'm actually kind of getting that welder figured out and got a bunch more room in there to work now. Looks good. So I'm all ready to hit the track again. So I'd say that's a wrap on my repair from my last race weekend. As always, I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. I'm Ryan and this is 780 Speed and Custom, tuning out.